Up in this one. We'll rock. Good. Bend and extend. Loosen the hip. Loosen the hip. Good. And the last one. Point the toe. Good. I pull the leg all the way up as high as I can. It's like I'm kind of getting a little cheek going on there. And then release the leg. Half the vasana. Good. Take a deep breath. Good. Now, you're going to be honest. I am shaking. <laughs> Intense. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, the next. We're gonna take the right leg up. And just rock it. These are pretty intense, but doing them every day definitely changes <laughs> how you're gonna feel. I'm sure. So we're gonna loosen up here. Good. And here's where we were just a minute ago when we were standing up. We bend the knee back. We we'll take the right arm around over the back. And you release the leg. And this is called, it's a bound posture. My fingers are together. Good, I bend the knee in. It's pretty. Look to the left. How are you doing over there? It doesn't really move, huh? It's all right. Practice every day, keeping those hips open. <laughs> definitely good for you. And I know you all feel it. It's definitely intense. But in a 125 degree room, we can stretch a little deeper, right? Now hold here. Try to get your shoulder closer to your knee. Nice, now take the left arm. Can you release it? Whew. Grab the right foot. There you go. Excellent. Good, you look towards the front door. Good, and get a good twist going. I know it's pretty intense. Bit of a hip opener. You know what I mean? Take some deep breaths. All right, oh. and the next. These are lots of fun. But a practice. Balancing in an arm balance position. So the first move is crossing the ankles and straightening the legs. The right arm stays in between. You can start here. It's pretty, pretty for your Instagram. All right, take a breath. Excellent, you guys all got it. It's beautiful. Take a deep breath here. All right, I'm absolutely soaked. Let's we'll see how we do with the slippage. So I take the right leg back. Take the right leg and hook it with the left. And this is called Ashtavakrasana, balancing on the hands. It's not very hard. It's really not very hard. I can show you how to do it in just a few easy steps. Ooh, my mat back. Maybe you can see me, I'm not sure. But right here, you take a leg. Erin, you can do it. Step one. Step two. Crossing the ankles. Step three. My elbow is below the knees, right? And I'm squeezing the arm as tight as I can, so I have no, I can't even get my arm out, right? Get closer to the wall so you don't fall backwards. The wall will save you, right? We start here. And the next, this is the muscles that you're using, right? This is the action. You're just gonna change it and get your, you know, hands down and your ass up. Somehow, <laughs> you can use a little momentum. You can kind of rock into it. It'll turn sideways, you can see it better. Now we got the ankles, the palms, the lift, and then the drop. There's a hook, lock, drop. How y'all doing with that one? <laughs> hook, lock, drop. Let's see if we can tilt it a little better. Can you see me? Again, it all started here. Locking the baby, bending the knee behind the shoulder, balancing here, pressing the palm down, hooking the ankles, straightening the knees, clamping on the arm, and bending the elbows. It's a hook, lock, drop. <laughs> All right. Next, Bhattapanasana, feet together in the middle, come forward, take some breaths. Oh yeah, excellent. Let's just open up the hip a little bit. The thighs are externally rotating back as the chest comes forward. So walk forward almost like a back bend, or an arch. That looks cute at least. <laughs> but it is good because you want your head up. You don't want your chin to your chest. You don't want to round. That's another posture. Okay, well, we're just procrastinating on the other side, I know. 
Send the left leg. Take the right leg up. And rock it. Nice. Good. Next. Grabbing the foot. Like bending the knee and releasing the hip. Extending. And bending. Extending. And bending. My big joke is, you know, the foot phone. Hello. <laughs> Extending and bending. Okay, the next. Bending the knee and getting the arm, shoulder to make contact to the knee. Maybe bind over the back and bend this knee. This is a uh, bird of paradise variation. Good, the next, getting the knee a little more behind the shoulder, grabbing the foot. Right, stretching out the whole side. This is a beast maritra, asana variation. Right? Everybody wants to get ashtabha across, and I'll show you the tricks. We hook the ankles. Bring the palms out, this is the balance. You can start by just bringing the palms together. Excellent. Now transferring that to an arm balance. Starts here. My elbows pull the knees. Arms are clamped. No light. Can't pull my arm out. It's locked. Right? That's the key. A little lower. Cross the ankles. And lift. Right? Bend. Ashtavakrasana. Not very complicated. The hardest part is having the desire to try. <laughs> You know, believing that it even matters. I believe it all matters, right? I have healthy fingers, healthy toes, healthy minds, and of course, letting your inner child out to play. So we have another one. Well, we can start with crow. Crow is the most basic, right? Malasana, squatting position, very important for your hips and bladder and all those reproductive organs, right? really important. Then you try to get your knees, to the shoulders, spread the fingers wide. And you start lifting, and you can balance. And this is the next one, bringing the feet in front. Right? Firefly. So it's not very challenging. The challenge is whoop, not letting your ass win. <laughs> right? So it all starts, right? Of course, the desire to try, <laughs> the desire to improve yourself. This doesn't just improve our physical body, it improves our mental body as well. And it gives you definitely a lot of fun things to do when you're stuck at home all day. So, crow, extend the arms, spread the fingers. Arms are always shoulder distance, so you know, right? I lift the hips first because it's not easy for me to lift it, so I lift it as high as I can. Now all I'm lifting is my toes. Anyone wanna try? Firefly? That's so tough. Firefly, we can start here and reach through. We can do this. And then the other one. I know the palms down. Look forward. Okay. That's the firefly. You can cross the ankles in front and hold. Go ahead. I know I can do it. <laughs> How many years it took me to get these? Long, long time. That's why I practice. Practice every day. It gets better in time. Okay. Whew. I'm sweating. So the next. I'm gonna lay on the stomach. We'll come back. Whew. A little bit of a transition. You can hold a plank. <laughs> Communicating to my hip to relax. All right, here we go. Cobra is very simple. Lay on the floor. Press the elbows down, lift the chest, look up, squeeze your legs, feet down, curve the body, four, three, two, and one, now move the hands back, all the way up, up dog, back to down dog. Forward to plank, hold, bend and lower. Oh. <laughs> That's so strong today. Squeeze the elbows in. Hold, this is easy, Cobra. Just moving the hands. And you can start to press a little more. Curve, a little opening here. 
Because some people can bend the knees. Go three, two, and one. Lower it up. Up dog. Down dog. Plank. And back down. Next one is the airplane. Arms out. <laughs> the only plane you're flying this year. Take it up. <laughs> Good. Lots of entertainment. Hours and hours. With your own self. Take a deep breath. Rise up. Lift your heart. Lift your lungs. Straight for the abs. Core. Lower back. Middle back. One more breath. And relax. And we do a vinyasa. Up dog. Child's or down dog. Uh oh, are you guys dead? <laughs> I'm almost dead. But that's the point where you start to make the turn. Squeeze your legs. <laughs> Lift up. That's it, rock and roll. Chest up, arms up, rise up. You can stay here, you can reach back. Grab the fingers, take a deep breath. Bend the knees, reach back, grab the feet, and kick. That's it, you guys. Lucky to be alive. Take deep breaths, taking care of your heart. Taking care of your lungs. Big breath in and out. Three, two, and one. Relaxing down. Or up, back, child's position. That one gets my heart rate up like crazy. I'm taking all the blood from the back of the body and pushing it to the front and opening up the whole front, stretching all the nerves to the brain. I mean, it is amazing. Let's do another bow. Grab the ankles. Right hand, left hand. A lot of people can't grab their ankles <laughs> at all. You can use a towel. Whew, my heart rate is up. Take a breath and kick. Lift the chest. Kick the feet back. Deep breathing in and out. Come on, you guys. Inhale. You need it. You need it for all those classes you missed. Take a deep breath. You're here now. Four, three, two, and one. Up and back. Relax. Deep breaths. Next, we have camels. First position, you can just sit. Relax, hold up. Very right, simple, opening up the front, the heart, the lungs. Second position, you bring the hands more back. And open the chest more. Eventually, you start to press the hips forward. Okay, curve. Breathing. Good 
job. All right, so full back bends like this. <laughs> Make sure you're not going to slide. <sighs> My feet are sliding. Oh. So good. Fears, a big part of what we do in here. Getting out of our comfort zone, so we're comfortable in every zone. So back bending first, remember, just here. Back bending is we must have some deep, innate, instinctual fear for doing back bends because you know, we're vulnerable, right? But we spend our whole day rounding, slumping, slouching, right? We can't even sit up straight without an assistant. In India, they used to joke. How Westerners all have furniture bodies, right? Work on your muscle strength. And when you do have some injury, something happen, you don't get broken. Less go to flexible, right? So they're never bent out of shape. What we're going to work on next, just taking a seated position. And let's get a little twist. Taking the right hands and the left knee. Everybody on their knees. Not everybody can sit like this. You can sit on a chair. Right? Mom has a whole video on YouTube doing all the yoga in a chair. So it can be done. You can do it standing, sitting on a couch. You start where you're at with what you have, with what you know. Maybe now you know a little more. Keep turning, keep the shoulders level. Keep both sit bones down. Keep your heart lifted as you inhale, lift. As you exhale, twist. As you inhale, lift. As you exhale, twist. As you inhale, lift more. Exhale, twist more. All right, so it all becomes an abdominal workout. Let's go the other way. Left hand, right knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. You're working, right? Liver, full body, spleen, pancreas, kidneys from behind, digestive system, reproductive system, spine, which helps the brain. Take a deep breath and twist. Long inhale. Exhale, more spin. Lift the chest more. Twist your core more. For three, two, and one. Nice. Now, just an easy forward fold as far as you can go. Keep the chest lifted. Maybe go all the way down for a moment. Troubles pour out of your brain into that mat, into that towel. That's why I love the sweat. So it's so symbolic of just pouring it out, letting the floodgates open up, and letting everything from yesterday go away. So the next we're going to do some breathing. You can start by putting the hand right on the belly. It's an abdominal workout. You're going to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Fingers in Gyan Mudra, connecting the energies of the body, back of the wrists to the knees. Stop, stop, 
start again, stop, start again. These are all great muscles to be exercising. Your abs, your back, let's start to feel that liver. It's great for that. You're super flooding the body with more oxygen in. The acids out, you're gonna feel great no matter who you are, where you're at. These are good, let's do another round. Let's get to 100. Breathing, you take your right thumb, block off the right nostril, inhale the left nostril, block the left, exhale right, inhale right nostril, exhale out the left. Alternate nostril breathing, inhale, exhale. Infrared kills bacteria in the air. So, 